Hello everybody, what's up? Daryl here, and today I am on Seth Bling's new puzzle map, his second puzzle map, and this is designed for 1.5, so let's just check that, yep, 1.5 says in the top left, I think, thanks to Dinnerbone, FP, FV Disco, and BTC for testings, Map designed for single player, yeah, 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 yeah. rules, common rules, common rules, common rules. i just let you read those, and there we go. So, simple tests. Test number one, is that test zero or one? Zero. Great. Okay. And another one. Okay. So... Can't do that because the door's inverted, or otherwise these uh, grey uh, pixels would be on this side. And so he's obviously just done some wiring of redstone to do that. And you see how that one was the other way around compared to uh, that way. Okay, so we have three levers, and what we have to do is. We need this block to be off, or we need to send a, a stronger pulse through here, so it'll cancel out this pulse, this current, I mean, uh, let's place one more, let's, let's just turn on this, we want that one off, we want that one off. And we want that one on. Okay. Um. Okay. Hoppers. I don't have much experience with these. Um. So we have. We have six levers. We want to get to the door. We want to activate the glowstone, which requires that, which requires all of these to be turned off. And the only way to do that is through these comparisons, which will go through the block. And if I can do this correctly, you can see this flash on for a split second, that one there. There you go. Um, you actually saw that one go because it, the hopper is connected to here, so it will go to here, to here, to that one, to that one. Whoops. So if you do this, this will give the oh, I can't do that. Most of you. So this will keep it powered and it'll keep the item in there. Oops. So then that will open the door. And for those wondering why hoppers do that, it's because if you power a hopper, you will send a, I think it's like a, an endless cycle of current that can't be turned off. Okay, so we have four buttons, let's put these on there. We have set time days, set time nights. Give me a hoe and that. Um, bram, bram. so what we've got to do? I'm gonna set tonight because there's a daylight sensor. Immediately, just so see that. So that turns off. So that doesn't. So that's a. Re if I turn that on, that would be a repeater lock. If that one was on, um, we want the torch to turn off. The only way we're going to get the torch to turn off is through what seems to be this. Correct? No? What? Let's do it again. Ah, yeah we do. So then that'll turn that off and then we need to just set it to day. Which will then put that in a lock position. And then, considering I don't have anything in my inventory, it will just assume I have nothing. So it will just 
do the other current. Yeah. Okay, this is getting harder already. Okay. Cake. Big puzzle map. Oh, puzzle me. Um. Okay. So we have gold blocks. So assume it's 15 across because that's how long it reads 14 across I mean because very can only go so far plus this one so it's 15 and we want this to be a stronger signal than this so it goes further because we want this one to be off correct no 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 we want these ones to be off so these ones have got to be weaker and these ones have got to be stronger so if I just put that there. Oh, I did it. Well, okay. So then we can do the exact same on the other side, except that the repeater, uh, the repeater is back to. So we can just follow this line and go to a cross. Correct. Oh no, that's clever. Seth Blaine. Uh, now it's too weak, so if we just put it still too weak, we need to put it two across. So that gives it a signal. We don't want the signal. We want it to be one less than the signal. That's already off. What's power load? Oh, now we need to push this back a little bit. Almost. Uh, one more block. There we go. Because now all four torches are off and they were all originally on except for these middle two. And we had to power those while depowering the, the end two. Okay, we have a comparator. Is that a comparator? Yes, yeah, a comparator. And we have a bunch of redstone. So if we just go like this. Um, and we go, let's just split that in half and keep that. This should, in theory, put this in the hopper. Wait, is the hopper facing it? Yeah, the hopper is facing the dropper and the dropper is facing the hopper. So they're just going in an infinite loop against each other. So we need to create a... Um, we need to create an infinite cycle, but we can't because we don't have a torch. But with the new comparator, I think we can. If we just go, and then I can't remember how to do it correctly. Ah, it's gonna really bug me until I remember it. So I'm just gonna pause the video until I remember. Um, yeah, okay. So I, 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 I don't know what I did. I just started, started fucking around. And uh, this is what I made. I'm just trying to make logical sense of it because if I just depower that, just All right. So what I've learned is that. If I do that, it will create an infinite loop, and because it's getting powered, it will always go in this infinite loop as well as going that way as well. And because if I just put that in positive mode, by right, addition mode, then it won't do anything. But if I put it in subtraction mode, because this is a weaker pulse, just only one, then that is only one, two, three, four, yeah, four, yeah, and then I just put five two in here or sixty or how many I ever put in, and then that went into the hopper, which then powered this comparator, which then powered the glowstone.